Oh, hey, World YouTube, you're here again. Welcome back once again to the channel. So there have been a lot of 1060s that have come out. You guys have some missed the train. This is Pascal chipset, you know, lots of good features. Basically, it's the entry level right now for NVIDIA. They're coming to market about $300, some a little bit lower, depending on what you're getting. Now, the particular one we're looking at today is from Zotac. Now, in the past, we've seen their AMP Extreme Edition cards, and usually those cards are titled like the fastest card of its class. Um, now we're looking at their AMP Edition. Now, this is the fastest of the fast but this card has a lot of nice features and it's also pretty compact it's not quite 10 inches long like we've seen some of the crazy other cards and it's not quite small enough to be a mini card it's somewhere right in between so with that said let's real quick let's jump in let's take a look at the card close up let's take a look at its features let's see how it does in the testing how cool it is and at the end of the day hey is this something you want to spend your hard-earned cash in let's check it out at first glance, in my eyes, the card looks kind of transformery from the way the cooling fans and everything are. Now on the top, you can see there are two 90 millimeter fans, and the look of the card, like I said, is pretty futuristic looking. Now, if we flip the card over to its side, you guys can see there are two distinct heat pipes. These are both made of copper, and then down below that, we see the PCI strip. So we move the card around to the back, you guys can see there's more of the aluminum heat fins, and as we flip the card around to the other side, first off you can see the first button, that's the end of one of the heat pipes. On the other side you see the same thing. In the center we see the Zotac logo. Above that we see the single 6 pin power connector and it's recommended that you have a 400 watt power supply because there's 120 watt draw of power through that single 6 pin. But a little disappointment comes as I flip it around to the backside. As you guys can see there is no backplate whatsoever. Backplates are becoming the standard. Zotac. Pay attention to this, because folks out there like backplates. I like them, and they keep my knuckles from getting all roughed up if I'm bitten on the, on the card itself. Hitting on that card, that's right, I hit it. Well, not like that, but you know what I'm saying. All right, anyways, we flip it around the end. We have a single DVI-D, single HDMI 2.0, and three display ports. All standard stuff. And as far as how the card size is in, its length is 8.27 inches, its height is 5 inches, and it also features a dual slot design like most cards. Now, some of the features of the card that we don't talk about in the actual specs are exactly what goes in the technology. Like these guys called their cooling solution Ice Storm. Now, the Ice Storm means that's their solution for keeping this card running cool. They also have a thing called Freeze, which makes the card run in completely silent mode if you don't need the fans to spin. So if at some point or another you're running some weird game and it's not taking too much out of your card, your fans may not be spinning. So don't freak out. That's just part of the technology keeping the card running and keeping it running smooth for you folks. Now, as far as the base clocks go on this card, the base clock is 1,556 megahertz, and the boost clock of the card is 1,771 megahertz. And although the card says 1,771 megahertz, we actually got better boost clocks than that, as you'll see on our video. Also, the card features eight gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, 192-bit memory interface, all that good stuff. So this is pretty much a fully featured card. I want to apologize once again to those folks out there who watched my three gigabyte video. I honestly thought the cards had the same specs other than the size of the memory. I didn't really think that they cut the specs down. I just don't like that either. But with that said though, let's real quick, let's jump in, let's check out our test system and then rock out to the benchmark song and see how the car does and how hard it runs for you folks. Let's go. For you folks who follow the channel, we've been using the same test system for quite a while. An i7-6700K, we keep it at turbo mode at 4.4 gigahertz. We're using an ASRock motherboard. We've also got 16 gigabytes of Ripjaw G-Skill memory. Everything was done on Windows 10 with the latest patches and the latest drivers available for today's testing. Now let's check out those pictures.
All right, so there you have it, the Zotac Amp Edition GTX 1060 card. Now, we were able to see this card running at about close to 80 Celsius most of the time. Our boost clock was between 1815 and 1820, so it's a decent boost clock on it. We didn't really do any overclocking it at all. That'll be for another video, but if you're looking for a card that's well-priced, has a good warranty, has a lot of features. You know, these guys put a lot of effort into their card, you know, from their ice storm cooling on it, all the nice things that they put into that stuff, from their firestorm doing for overclocking and stuff. If you guys know about Zotac, you know what you're looking for. A lot of people out there still go, man, like, is Zotac good? But yeah, Zotac's been making great cards for years. So if you've never heard of Zotac whatsoever before, trust me on this. We've been working with these guys for years. Their cards are made very, very well. The only thing I really don't like about the card is the no backplate at all. I don't know why people can't put a backplate in the card. Zotac, I mean, what the heck, man? It's just a few more bucks. Nowadays, the backplate's good to go. You guys know I can't do my tappy knuckles thing on it, otherwise I'll have bloody knuckles. Look like I just got in a fight with someone. But beyond that, the card's a nice card. Runs pretty cool. Has a lot of overclocking potential inside of the card. I also so right now where I live, I live on the desert, so it's pretty hot inside my house. The ambient temperature of my house is usually about 80, so I mean 80 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius though, so it's pretty hot inside my house all the time. So that's pretty much it. If you guys want to get one of these cards for yourself, we'll have information down with the like button. You guys know what to do. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tekka tomorrow. We got a lot more stuff coming up, including battles of overclocking cards, so we'll see you back here on the channel for more action.